here called us the uh, die transformations. Um, if you notice that this is quadratic, let's just say we graphed, I don't know, the parent function would be something like, um, we'll call it e of x. e of x, the letter before this would just be a parent function of x squared, right? Mm -hmm. So that graph would be origin, right one, up one, put in two there, two squared is four. And your graph would look something like this, right? <clears throat> but this graph tells us uh, x minus 3. So you're on the inside. Class, is that a vertical or horizontal translation? Horizontal. Is this going to go left or right? Okay, this one says right 3. So when I graph this now, 1, 2, 3. And then you basically do the same reference points. Right 2, up 4. Left 2, because it's like negative 2 squared would give us. And then this is what your graph actually looks like. So here's my first graph. Okay. Now, from pink to green, I want to show you a couple of things. Instead of writing f of x, I can write what? Well, over here it says every time we see f of x, write x minus 3 squared. Class, I see f of x. What can I write in there? x minus 3 squared. And then bring down that 3. So here's a second way of writing g of x. Well, the 3 is on the outside. If the 3 is on the outside, what did you guys say? Is it a translation, reflection, or dilation? It's a dilation. So this is going to be dilated, dilated by a factor of 3. Okay, what does that mean? Let's say we put in our points here. Let's say, um, let's say positive three. Class three minus three is zero squared is zero times three is. So the graph's still there. Let's pick now four. Four minus three is one squared is three times one is. So I go four three. And if I pick in 5, it's just easier. Just put in our calculator. I can some values. So I have, um, let's actually put in all of these. You'll, you'll see some nice things going on there. x minus 3 squared. And this one is 3 times x minus 3 squared. And what you can do here is, um, on the equal sign, it is on, okay? So if I press zoom 6, you'll see all of our colors. First one, that's the parent. There's a second one, shift it to the right. And then you'll notice that because our value is a 3 there, um, it's being uh, stretched vertically. What does that mean? Kind of like my, 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 my children when I come home, right? They're young. They'll say, pick me up, pick me up. And when I pick them up, if I pick them up by their arms, they're not strong enough to hold it like a, a gymnast. So their arms go like this. And I can just throw them in the air. So that's what's happening here. It's being vertically stretched. It's pulled up from the top. So from here, you can use your table of values. So if I go to second table, and I wanted um, uh, one, two, three, five. So if I go to 5, that coordinate is 12. So it's way up there. Just to give you an idea. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It doesn't even fit on my paper. And over here, you can just mirror them. So my graph's going to look like this now.
Okay, so what we have here is write three units, dilated or stretched vertically um, by a factor of three. And in this last part, it just tells us a minus one. So another way of writing this problem is h of x equals three times x minus 3 squared, and don't forget the minus 1. Class, what does this minus 1 tell us? Remember, it's on the outside. <coughs> vertical down, down. translation, so vertical translation just means down one unit. Fancy word is they call this a vertical shift. A vertical shift of down one unit. So basically I take all of my points and I move them down one. I think this was 12, 2, and 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. Uh, one, three. So you're basically just moving all your points down one kind of messy. It almost looks like the green, but it's just moved down one unit. Okay, so the goal is to look at these and kind of see what kind of transformations are happening, and the visuals kind of verify that for you. Okay?